Hi, I'm James Ward, a technical evangelist for Flex at Adobe. My favorite new feature of Flex 4.5 is the new Spark Data Grid. Let me show you why. Here in Flash Builder 4.5, I'm going to create a new Flex project, call it TestDG. And what I'm going to do is connect to a bunch of data I have on my server that's exposed through AMF. We could also use SOAP Web Services, JSON, or just plain old XML. I'm going to create a new remote object, and I'm going to give it an ID of RO. I'm going to set the destination to census, and then I'm going to set the endpoint to my server. And now I need to actually add my data grid. So let's come in and add a data grid. I'll give this an ID of DG. I'm going to set the width to 100% and the height to 100%. And then I'm going to set up an event handler called application complete, where I'm going to make my request to my server. So I'm going to call RO get elements. I'm going to start at zero and get 5,000 rows. And now the last thing to do is add an event handler to my remote object called result so that whenever we get a response back from the server, what we can do is set the data grid data provider equal to a new array collection. And we're going to get the event.result. That's just the data that we got back. We're going to tell it that it uh, came back as an array. And then save it. So now it's compiling. And I'm going to run it in my browser. So of course, I could also run this as a desktop application or a mobile application. But in this case, I'm running it in the browser. And there we go. There's the new Spark data grid. You can see we scroll down here to the bottom. Scrolling performance is great. We got all 5,000 rows. Uh, and of course, we can do client-side sorting of this data as well. So uh, this is a really great component. Supports all the major things you'd want to do in a data grid. Uh, and it was that easy to use it. So that's why I love Flex 4.5 and the new Spark data grid. Thanks.